The really beautiful thing that happens, happens when you have gone through a particular kind of suffering and then you see somebody else who is going through that and you say to them, me too. You say to them, me too. Chris, you know what I'm talking about. My friend Chris, at AA, you told me recently, Chris said that he, at AA meetings, he says, hi, I'm Chris, I'm an alcoholic. I remember you telling me, I don't say that because I need to know that because I already know that. He said, you told me, I say I'm Chris and I'm an alcoholic for the person who's at the meeting for the first time so they can know me too, me too. It's a bit like a backpack. You think about bankruptcy, failure, abuse, divorce, all those little pieces that we're carrying around. It's almost like every time we're wronged, we're given another burden to carry. And that stuff is heavy, correct? And so it's like a backpack that weighs a ton and it makes your journey more difficult and it makes you more tired, it makes you weary until you open it up and you take a look at what's in there and you discover that there's water in there. There's food in there. When you actually go in there and you name it and you own it, you discover that you have things that other people need for their journey. And you went through this absolutely hellish abuse, but then you meet this person who has gone through a similar thing and you say to them, I went through that and I'm still here. And what happens is the very thing that was weighing you down becomes the exact thing through which God's healing love flows to somebody else. This is what happens when you realize that everything belongs. You have moved to a totally new place. You are no longer fighting it. You are no longer at odds with it. You have made peace with it. You have transcended it. And now the thing which was the biggest source of pain becomes the source of joy and help to others. That's how it works. Now, when we talk about being reconciled to you, if you don't have a lot of time to shop for a gift for that special person in your life, we can help. Today, gift guru Sandra Magsalmon will show us a few creative gifts when time is of the essence.